specific heat and heat capacity. The heat capacity for the su uh, substance is the amount of energy or heat needed to change the temperature of the substance by one degree Celsius or Kelvin. The units are often expressed as joules per degree Celsius. It is an extensive property as opposed to specific heat which is an intensive property and specific heat for a substance is the amount of heated, heat needed per mass so one gram usually to raise one gram of the temperature of a substance by degree Celsius or Kelvin and this is usually expressed in units of joules per gram times degree Celsius. Now we can understand specific heat here to understand what happens on a beach and with water. Water has a higher heat capacity than sand so it requires more energy to be heated. So this is why the ocean is always cooler here. This ocean is always cooler than the sand on the beach because the sand can actually take more energy, take is it that requires a certain amount of heat. It that heat that's coming from the sun is actually going to affect it more than the water. Now, this is very important for calorimetry, which is the measure which is the measurement of heat changes. So to understand that we have an equation to tell us how much heat has been absorbed or released in a particular process when we're changing the heat when we're changing temperature. So Q equals M which is the mass, C usually denoted as C or sometimes as S for specific heat times the change in temperature times the change in temperature is going to give us for this is either in degrees Celsius or Kelvin here so the change in temperature times the specific heat of the substance times the mass and the change in temperature so change in temperature is the final temperature minus the initial temperature that we had and when you multiply them together, that gives you the amount of heat of heat absorbed or released. So if this is if Q is negative, then it's an exothermic process, so it's losing energy, it's re releasing energy. If Q is positive, then it is absorbing energy and it's an endothermic process, an endothermic process. So that means absorbing energy and exothermy means releasing energy. So we can use the specific heat of substances to tell us this Q value, which is the amount of heat absorbed or released by the substance when it's changing temperature.